Hi kids and parents out there. This is Loanne from San Leandro Public Library. Now Halloween is right around the corner and you know what that means? That means it's pumpkin carving time. So this afternoon I'm going to turn this pumpkin into a jack-o-lantern. Now I'm not a professional pumpkin carver but it's still one of my favorite things to do during the fall season. And that probably stems from the fact that carving pumpkins is still one of my favorite childhood memories. Now this is a great activity to do with your child and also a great tradition to start as a family. Now I'm limited to 10 minutes so let me get going. I bought some tools this year at the grocery store and you can find this kit at most stores um, and it, in it includes three different saws. The first one is the biggest which is the top cutting saw, the top cutter, and the second one is our beginning saw which starts our patterns and the third one which is the smallest is our detail saw which cuts the smaller patterns with the maybe grooves and curves and thin lines okay and it comes with a scooper as well but me I like to use my hands personally to remove all the slimy pumpkin guts because that's part of the fun now this kit also comes with some patterns much to my surprise. So these patterns are maybe for the more challenged um, pumpkin carvers, but you know what they say about practice making perfect. And these patterns, my suggestion on using these is that you cut the smaller pieces out first because you want your pumpkin to remain as sturdy as it can, the shell to remain sturdy until you cut out your bigger pieces, till the last pieces are cut, okay? Okay, now, Let's start by cutting a hole in our pumpkin. And what I did was I took a green pen, any color will do, and I drew a circle, okay, around my pumpkin. Okay, now we're gonna take the top cutting saw and we're gonna stick it in our pumpkin and we're gonna follow the circle all the way around. It's so easy. You know, pumpkin carving is such an art. I mean, you can be as creative as you want. You see how I'm cutting around? my circle. You can be as creative as you want. There's no limit to what you can do. I mean, I've seen things carved out of pumpkins. I didn't even know you could carve out of pumpkins. So go at it, folks, and get creative. Now, my top is almost done. I'm going again around in a circle where I've marked my pumpkin. And if you don't go on the lines, that's okay, because we're going to take um, a wet rag and wipe off all the extra marks on our pumpkin when we're done. All right. Now I've done something else a little um, additional and I'm going to show you. It's one of the little tricks that I've learned through the years. Okay, I'm almost done. My circle's almost done. Okay, going around. Okay, now at the very end of my circle I'm going to make a little lip in the circle. It's like a small triangle. Okay. There we go. Okay. Voila. Okay. Let's remove all the slime. And again, just I love just reaching in and just touching all that stuff. Now you can um, cook the pumpkin seeds. Um, they taste just as good as sunflower seeds. You can roast them in your oven, so you don't have to throw them away. Now, what I did was I cut a lip on my lid. You see this little pointer right here, like a triangle? Um, and there's also one on my pumpkin, okay? And that's because when you go to put the top back on, sometimes you have to like maneuver it around to make sure that it's aligned right. Well, all you have to do is you line up the two arrows, okay? And you connect them, and then you know your lid is on properly and tight. All right. Now, what I do is I always draw the pattern, the face pattern, on my pumpkin so that I know my eyes are both the same size and that they're symmetrically um, aligned with each other, okay? So the patterns um, I got off internet, okay? And this is the pattern, the eye pattern I'm using today, the moon shape eyes, okay? Which um, I'm gonna trace on my pumpkin right here, okay? and then the triangle for the nose, and my mouth. Here's my other eye. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna take the eyes, let me wipe my pumpkin dry. You're gonna pick the best side of the pumpkin you can find. And I'm going to trace the eye on with my green pen. And I will turn the pumpkin around and show you in a minute. Okay. Again, it's okay if, you know, it's not perfect because we will wipe off all the extra um, mark, uh, marks on your pumpkin when we're done. Here's my nose I traced. And then here's my mouth. All right. Okay, when you remove the inside of the pumpkin, you want to totally remove everything because you don't want to look through your pumpkin face and see all this slime hanging down, right? You want to be able to see to the back of the pumpkin to the other side. So here's my face that I've drawn on. Can you see that? Okay, we're going to start carving with our beginning saw, which is the second biggest saw. Um, put this away. Actually, the mouth is big enough I might use this big saw. Okay, so what you're going to do, again, is you're just going to stick the knife into the pumpkin and you, oops, I'm stronger than I think. And you're just going to um, follow the lines that you've drawn. There you go. You want to make sure you cut um, hard enough so that you cut all the way clear through the pumpkin. Okay. And then I think I can pop the mouth out. There you go. See? Okay, now you want to make sure you clean this though, his mouth all the way. Let me take the lid off and do that. Okay. You know, pumpkin carving is still such an art. And the one thing that you're going to notice is that there are no two pumpkins the same, which is great. The beauty of us being different individuals means we're going to produce different things. And also, the other thing that's really great is that there are no right or wrong way to carve a pumpkin. So remember that and embrace the uniqueness of what you've done. <laughs> and begin to appreciate the beauty of what others do as well. Okay, now, again, I'm carving my nose. This is so easy, easier than I thought. Um, now, this kit that I bought says not recommended for children under three, but I would say maybe five is a safe age, okay? Okay, I mean, you would have to be there as an adult to, if your child is under five, okay? Okay, now let's start with my eyes. This is a little trickier because they're moon-shaped. Oh, I might want to use the little saw, which let me get it. It's this one. Here we go. Aha. Okay, I'm gonna go around again. This, this little knife takes a little bit longer, so let me try to use my bigger knife and we can speed it along. Okay. There we go. I'm cutting, I'm tracing all the way around where I've drawn the eyes. Okay, now if you have time, Definitely, even though the library's not open, you can check out books on how to carve a pumpkin or even wonderful Halloween crafts for your, you and your child to do. Okay, I think I can pop the eye out. Let's see. Make sure I cut through. All right. It's not popping out yet. Oh, here it goes. I think I see it popping out. Aha, there you go. Okay, and again, I gotta clean the inside of it, okay? I didn't do that well enough. Okay. There you go, it's my moon-shaped eyes. I'm going to make the 
by more pronounced. Okay, clean the inside of that. Okay, we'll do the other eye and then we will be finished. <coughs> Oh, you know what? The trace, the eye where I traced it came off because my hands were so slimy. I wiped it off. Okay, there you go. I'm tracing it again. Now, here we go. Okay. Again, I hope you can see what I'm doing. around the shape that I've drawn and you know I'm turning the pumpkin around to help accommodate me okay um let's try the bigger knife now because I think that might be a little quicker I think I can handle the eye with the bigger knife oh yeah it's just a lot quicker Now you can, even though the library is closed, you can put books on hold um, and pick them up during curbside service hours, okay? All right, there you go. Got my two eyes. Okay, now let me, um, they're a little, let's see. I still need to just clean the insides of my eyes out a little bit. There you go. Let me cut right through, clean them out that way. my mouth and nose more pronounced I'm getting rid of the inside okay now here you go I gotta finish cutting the inside of this this is a very um, young pumpkin so that all that stringy stuff is just sticking to, to the inside okay there go now I did not cut out any teeth the one thing I want to teach you as a trick, let's just wipe our pumpkin down with a rag. I don't know what it was, marks, extra marks. Okay, is what I did was with the mouthpiece that I've taken from the pumpkin's mouth, okay, I um, have cut little teeth out of them. And See this my okay. There you go. My eyes. I just want to make them both the same. There you go. Okay. So what I did was I cut little triangles out of this piece, the extra mouthpiece. I cut little triangles and I stuck a toothpick inside. Okay. Now I used half a toothpick, and what I did was I put half the toothpick inside the tooth, and the other half I'm gonna place right here and you see that's my teeth my pumpkin teeth okay that's another trick you can do here you go here's let's put more teeth on our pumpkin where's the other tooth I had okay here's a big tooth is the tooth in the pumpkin. Okay. You see that? You get the idea? So that's just a little trick on how to make your own teeth. Because sometimes it's hard to cut out the teeth where they're so close together or you have a small mouth, right? 
Okay, now, um, the other thing that I want to do is I, my pumpkin is a girl, and so we're going to enhance her face a little bit with some paint. Okay, here's some more teeth. Can you see that? Okay. Just correct them and make them all straight later. Okay, now I'm going to take some paint and I'm going to paint some eyelashes on my pumpkin and maybe paint her eyes. So let's do this. Let's make sure they're matching. Okay. I'm make one pupil smaller than the other. Okay. There you go. We're going to maybe paint her eyeball here and then we are going to draw some eyelashes on her what do you think about that i could have made the eyeballs a little bit more rounder but that's okay there you go okay all right now this year i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a mask on my pumpkin and what you can do is you can stick maybe um, two nails on the side of her face and you can attach the mask to her make sure you cover her nose as well um, you can hang them on the nail so that your pumpkin fits right in so on behalf of my pumpkin and I oh excuse me my jack-o-lantern and I because that term pumpkin is no longer used um, once you carve your pumpkin. We wish you a happy and safe Halloween. Okay? All right. Let me put this mask on straight. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. There you go. <laughs> happy Halloween.